Hey, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm really excited about this. Should be a really short one. Uh, with version 9, one of the features that they added was the ability to put in internal hyperlinks. So I can see a few places where that's useful. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Uh, so this is a document uh, that I have. Um, it, it's a tutorial document that I provide my students, which basically goes through all of the different, you know, sort of... Uh, learning that you would have to do to get functional with MathCAD. And you can see it's got a whole bunch of different sections here uh, and it walks them through the essential features and how MathCAD interfaces with them. Uh, so I think because it's a fairly long document, it's about 15 pages, that it would benefit from a table of contents. And these internal hyperlinks are going to allow us to have a, a internal or a, a table of contents which has internal hyperlinks and brings you to the various sections uh, as you click on them. Uh, so I've already started doing that. I'm going to pop that open. So here you see my table of contents in a collapsible section here at the beginning. I've got a whole bunch already put in, but I saved the last one just for you. So I'm going to scroll down and we're going to add an internal hyperlink for the using Excel objects uh, section that I have in my training tutorial. Now it's a little bit strange uh, the way they do it, uh, but uh, it's fairly easy to do once you figure it out. Now, there's not a whole lot of documentation on it, at least not yet, uh, so let's get it done. So the place where you have to start is where you want a hyperlink to. And so let me scroll down. Oh, there we go, using Excel objects. So it's right here, and I'm just going to choose the first couple words within the collapsible section where I have that. So that way, if the collapsible section happens to be closed, when you hit on the hyperlink, it'll pop it open. Uh, and uh, where are we? We're going to go up to... Uh, no, uh, ah, so in text formatting, uh, you see the link, remove link, tag, uh, everything here. So in order for us to have an internal hyperlink, we have to add a tag. And so that's why we're starting where we want to link to. So I've chosen those two words and I'm going to choose to tag them. And now we give the tag a number and I'm just going to call it in this case, Excel object. I'm going to hit OK. And now what I do is I go back to the table of contents where I want to uh, link to it. So backing up. So here we are. Let's scroll that up a little bit. So I'm going to highlight the text that I want to do and in the link, now you get this dialog box open here and what you have to do is the words that you just typed in, the name of the tag, is you proceed it with a hashtag so uh, or a pound symbol for the old folks in the crowd, uh, hashtag Excel object and I'm going to say OK. It now shows as a link and so if I hold the control button down and press it, it should bring me to that link and you see it just you know, it brings it to the bottom of the page and then you can scroll from there and so that's how you do internal hyperlinks so one little quirk i don't see anywhere where you can see a list of the tags that you've created uh, so you kind of have to remember the ones that you do uh, it's going to be fairly easy to put them in a little harder if you want to do a whole bunch of editing so you know that's something that they'll probably improve with time where you can get better editing uh, capabilities. So there you have it. So now I have my table of contents all filled out and my students will be able to navigate uh, this document a little bit easier. So hopefully that was useful to you and uh, I know I'm going to use it rarely but when I do use it it's going to be really useful to me. So hopefully the same for you. Have a great day.